Hey guys, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, taking care of all of your real estate needs across the Wasatch Front. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a minute to talk to you about how sellers can improve their chances of creating multiple offers on their home. If you're looking to sell your home, I've got a great tool on my website that will give you an instant home evaluation. Just click on the link below where you can see the button on my blog. Today we're going to talk about how sellers can improve their chances of generating an auction-like environment on their home. For example, multiple offers. First of all, you have to remember that a real estate agent is going to first sell your home in a two-dimensional environment that's online. 100% of the buyers that are looking at your home have first received the information about your home online. They're looking at pictures. And we live in America, folks, which means you're going to be judged by your cover. So the first thing I want you to do is think about curb appeal. A couple of things that you can do, plant some colorful flowers up against the house to add a little bit of color, really helps your house stand out. In addition to that, you may want to consider putting a fresh new coat of paint on the front door. Secondly, inside of the home, assuming that they've now clicked, you've impressed them about the exterior of the home, they've now clicked on the interior photos, I want you to make sure that every flat surface in your home is cleared of everything other than decorative items. That includes bookshelves, kitchen counters, end tables, bathroom vanities, everything should be cleared. Visual clutter causes your eyes to look at the clutter. You want these buyers to look at your spaces, not your stuff. And then also looking at interior color choices. If you have kids' rooms that are painted bubblegum color or bright blues or purples, you have to understand that to a consumer that's looking online, those may not be desirable color choices. One of the few things a seller can do that will generate a positive rate of return to improve their home is their color choice. I recommend that you use neutral colors throughout the property. Now also remember when you create a multiple offer environment, the highest offer is not always the best offer. I want you to think about how much earnest money these buyers have on your property. Their ability to qualify. Did you get a pre-approval letter or did you get a pre-qualification letter? Did your agent call and inspect what they expect with the lender? How far have the buyers gone through the application process? Also, commonly you'll have buyers that are asking for closing costs. Sometimes buyers will try to build this on top of your asking price and then ask you to contribute that money back. That's a risky proposition in this market and you may end up with a failed appraisal. And, and, and also a failed appraisal is something that can stick with your property for up to six months. Or perhaps these buyers are going to allow you an interim occupancy agreement. Maybe they give you more time to move out at the end of the process. These are things that may not be the highest offer, but help you with your moving process. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this blog. I hope you find it helpful. Again, the link for the free over the net home evaluation, which is instantaneous, is just below this message.